Hi, I'm Gustav. I'm a third year astronomy graduate student uh, at Caltech. I'm currently working with Professor Mansi Kasliwal and the ZDF group. Uh, today, I'll be talking very briefly about the recent archive submission titled uh, Probing the Low Mass End of Core Collapse Supernovae. So we do this using a sample of uh, nine calcium rich type 2b supernovae uh, discovered and followed up as part of uh, the ZTF uh, programs. Uh, just to give a brief uh, background and motivation for this work. Uh, so there are a number of unknown questions and mysteries regarding the fate of low mass end of uh, the score collapse supernovae, uh, which is basically the 8 to 12 solar mass regime. Uh, so some of these mysteries include, uh, for example, where does the white dwarf formation and core collapse supernovae boundary lies? Uh, do the, uh, is the fate of the stars to become, to form electron capture supernovae, uh, which is kind of like uh, what's shown in the image, but except for a fish eating up electrons, it's uh, oxygen and neon atoms, which eats up electrons, which then induces a collapse, or is it the more conventional uh, iron core collapse, which we're more familiar with? Also another mystery is uh, if we look at any initial mass function, we expect uh, a sharp drop in the number of stars as we go um, higher up in the progenitor mass range. Uh, so uh, just from any IMF, we expect that 40% of all uh, core collapse supernovae should be in this eight to 12 solar mass regime, but that's not what we see uh, observationally. So are we missing this because th these are fast and faint um, or, or, or are we getting our theory wrong? So uh, just for those who are not familiar with the very confusing uh, stripped envelope supernovae classifications, uh, type 2b supernovae are those who, which just before explosion, they have been uh, stripped of their, partially stripped of their hydrogen envelope with uh, a hydrogen mass of, uh, hydrogen mass left of around less than 0.1 solar mass. So we identify around nine core collapse supernovae in this uh, low mass progenitor regime as part of the census of the local universe survey, uh, which is an experiment we run at Caltech that tries to classify all sources, all supernovae within 150 megaparsecs in the local universe and, uh, faint and um, fainter than an absolute magnitude of minus 17. Um, also, we use the bright transient, sur bright transient um, survey, which tries to classify all supernovae brighter than air, an apparent magnitude of 18.5 mag. Uh, we also get uh, late time nebular spectra from the low resolution spectrograph at GEC. Um, so we use the nebular spectra to measure the calcium 2 and oxygen 1 forbidden lines flux. So the calcium two to oxygen one flux provides a very strong constraint on the, on the progenitor mass. And the reason for this being the oxygen production usually happens at the core of the star while the calcium production happens um, at the explosion ejecta. Um, so what low oxygen one luminosity implies is that there's low oxygen mass, which in turn implies that uh, the progenitor mass is less. Uh, so we find that theoretical models find that there's a very strong dependence of um, oxygen one forbidden line late time nebular uh, phase luminosity with the uh, zero H main sequence mass. So for our sample, we find that the measured oxygen one luminosity gives uh, oxygen mass, which are uh, consistent or which, which suggests that the progenitor mass is less than 12 solar mass. Uh, we also do a light curve analysis where we try to model the, light, the double peak light curves of this type 2Bs as a sum of shock cooling breakout and uh, a radioactive uh, nickel powered uh, peak. Uh, we find that the explosion parameters, including the ejecta mass, suggest that it's very strongly stripped with ejecta mass less than around one solar mass. Also other explosion parameters such as the kinetic energy, the nickel mass are consistent um, with those expected for progenitor, progenitor mass less than 12 solar mass. Um, so what is a potential channel for this, um, for this kind of calcium rich type to be supernovae? Are this a new class, a new population? Uh, so what we think is that, uh, of course, one of the stars is a, a low mass progenitor in the eight to 12 solar mass regime uh, with a companion of um, uh, around say less than seven solar mass. And that it's strongly stripped by a main sequence companion in a compact binary orbit of around 10 days, which would result in this low, strongly stripped, low ejecta mass calcium rich type 2b supernovae. So it's predicted that this could potentially form neutron star main sequence binary, uh, which could uh, eventually form a neutron star white dwarf binary, which could be uh, detectable by LISA. Uh, so we hope to have, like, try to 
discover more of the sample and get a get a rate estimates and try to understand where um, this fits it fits in into the low mass and in the initial mass function. Uh, I'm, I'd be happy to hear uh, any comments about the analysis or your opinions and thoughts about uh, the archive paper. Uh, yep, that's all. Thank you.